everyone, it's Catherine, and today I'm going to show you how to use custom colors in both Procreate and GoodNotes. So this is a great thing to know if you're a digital planner. Um, I use this all the time um, when I find colors that I like online, but also, you know, a lot of digital planners or maybe digital sticker sets that you buy provide the hex codes for you um, so you can color coordinate your other designs. So it's just a really cool thing to know how to do. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this website that you can use if you're just on the hunt for new colors. If you don't, you know, have any specific hex codes in mind and you just want to find some new pretty colors, I recommend this website. It's called colorhex.com and it's spelled like C-O-L-O-R and then you want to do a dash. So colorhex, just like that, dot com. And I'll link to this in the video description. And this is a website that I use pretty frequently. So like right here, you can see user's latest favorite color and that already just provides you with so many pretty colors that people um, have favorited on this website lately. So let's look at, I'm kind of liking this green right here. So let's just click on that. And right there, that 9EF3C1, that gives you the hex code. Another cool thing about this website is it gives you shades of that exact color, um, and a shade is that color mixed with black. So you can see it progressively gets darker, and then it also gives you tints of that color, which is when white has been added to that color, so it progressively gets lighter. Um, and then it also gives you monochromatic colors, complementary colors, and all of these other things, if you're into HTML, if you know stuff like that, then you already know all about hex code, so you could use these for your website. Um, so there's also related colors down here, which is pretty cool. So what I do um, when I find a color on here that I like is I just memorize the hex code. So that's 9EF3C1. And I just, I'm saying it a few times in my head so I can remember it. 9EF3C1. So, um, to add this color into my Procreate color palettes, I would just pull up one of my documents, here's my calendar for the week that I'm working on, and go to my colors, which is this color dot right here. And if your value option isn't already selected, um, let, let's say you're on disk, you could go to value, and right here where it says hexadecimal, you would put the hex code. So that hex code was 9EF3C1 and then hit done. And you can see up here that it changed to that color. So now you can add it to one of your color palettes. Um, I believe I have a color palette for mints and turquoise somewhere. Yep, turquoise and mint. So I would add that to this color palette. You could start a new color palette if you wanted to. Um, so I can add that right there. So now I have that color saved. Um, so to add that into GoodNotes, if I wanted to use that color to write in GoodNotes, I would just go to my GoodNotes app, and you can use it for either your highlighter or your pen. It would work the same way. So I'm just gonna go to my pen, and you wanna double click it so this comes up. And then click on these three dots right here. And click on Enter Color, and then you would enter that hex code. So that's 9EF3C1, and hit OK. And now see it changed to that green color, and now I can use my pen, that's pretty thin. And see, I can write in that color. So that is how you can use custom colors in both Procreate and GoodNotes. Um, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. I highly recommend that site, like I was saying, if you're on the hunt for new pretty colors that you wanna use. Um, another thing that you can do on that site is you can, um, if you don't see one, you know, on that main page under recently favorited colors, you can explore different color palettes right here. You can explore different colors. Or if you wanted to just search for a specific color, let's say pink, you could just go to the search and type in pink and click on go. And then it takes you to a shade of pink. Um, so there's just a lot of options for you. So anyway, yeah, contact me if you have any questions. Um, I'll leave all of my information in the video description. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials and digital planner new videos. And check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies that you can download now.